because so many times people have a tendency to devalue the moment today what they do is they greatly value the destination so they kind of talk about well when I get there or if I arrive there or when I do that or when I accomplish this and they don't understand that success is a daily thing and I'm here to share with you that the secret of success is determined by your daily agenda every decision that you make has consequences are you making yourself better or are you making yourself worse are you moving forward or are you moving back are you making progress or are you stagnating? Every little decision you make counts. Most people go through life avoiding pain. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. Something in you that you never activate is lying dormant in there. That you never get a chance to call on because you have not challenged yourself. You are the leader of your life. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. Make discipline part of your daily life, and your daily life will get better. Now you know the master key to riches is self-discipline. And what we have found is that the most successful people uh, have come to that conclusion as well, is that self-discipline is the master key to success. So for you to write down your goals and make a plan and set priorities and start with your most important task takes tremendous self-discipline. If you, if, you, if you haven't done it up to now, it's so hard. But Goethe said everything is hard before it's easy and everything at the beginning is difficult but later it becomes easy and automatic you have to force yourself to discipline yourself at the beginning but after that it becomes easier and easier and you actually feel happy now here's the most wonderful thing if you think about sort of how people apply themselves when we go back and we look at the good to great data and some of the other data, we find that, that there's these three circles and you put your energies in the middle of three circles. And the first circle is what you're passionate about and what you love to do and what you stand for. And the second circle is what you can be the best at and the third circle is what drives your economic engine. Okay, now, and you focus your energies there, but let's drop that down a level to the individual. How many of the folks under age 30 in here have had cross your mind the thought, I wonder what I'm going to do with myself? <laughs> okay. I'd like you to think then about finding your own three circles at an individual level, which is, think about it this way. Imagine that you could engage your energies and your time directly in the middle of three tests. First. It is something for which you have great passion, that you love to do, and that absolutely reflects your values. And when you wake up in the morning, there's this sense of, my goodness, even if I'm getting paid for this, I would want to do it even if I wasn't getting paid for it. Now imagine if in addition to that, you could marry it to a second circle, which is finding what you're genetically encoded for. And there's a big difference of what you're good at and what you're genetically encoded for. I discovered this as a young person. I went off to college. I thought I would be a mathematician. I had done well on math tests. But when I entered courses like Real Analysis, I met those who were genetically encoded for math. Not being one of them, I needed to find another version of my three circles. <laughs> and now imagine the third circle. As you're engaged in something that makes, that is of, of great value. 
It's of either social or economic or both of value. It makes a contribution. You are useful.